So what's this thing doing here? This sign of the, the, the binoculars. It's actually really important to what I do. Now, you know I run a mystery shopping company and I don't want to make this about mystery shopping. What it's about is compliance. Compliance seems to be a dirty word. We don't want to be watching over people because it's feel, it feels like we don't trust them and they'll feel like we don't trust them. But let me share with you some research by Dr. Melissa Bateson from the University of Newcastle in the UK. What she did was in the, in the normal university faculty with 48 people, there was, there was, a, there was a, a common room with coffee and tea making facilities and they had an honesty box. What she did over a 10 week period, above the sheet where they recorded what they, they were buying or taking from the, from the box, was that she'd record, she'd put on top of that, she'd put a photo of either a flower or in alternate weeks, she'd put photos of eyes. Now they were stylized photos of eyes, so they weren't really hum, real human eyes, they were just drawn in eyes. Some were at different angles, some looked male, some looked female, but what she did was alternated those with the flowers. Now, after a 10 week period, the, the results were stunning. After 10 weeks, she found that when the eyes were being shown, the takings in the honesty box were 276% higher than when the flowers were being shown. It showed quite conclusively to her that people act differently when they know that they know they're being watched. Now, is that a bad thing? Well, to get people to act honestly is not. And they think of speed cameras, you think of all the warnings that we have along the way, they're there for a certain reason. They just prick our interest and we think, ah, oh, someone could be watching. And parents are like that too. It's the whole, I am watching you. You don't know when someone's watching. Mystery shopping's like that. The idea of mystery shopping and the great secret with mystery shopping is that people never know when we're out there, so they're always on their best behavior. Now, that is human behavior. We can't sugarcoat it. We can't get too avant-garde about it. Dr. Bateson's research shows that people will act differently when they think they're being watched. Now, this taps into the reptilian part of our brain. Even though we know it's not a real eye, or two eyes. Somewhere deep inside in our subconscious, we will act differently. It helps us to act honestly. We want to act honestly, and just having those eyes there helps us not have to rationalize, can I just pinch it a bit of this or take a bit of that? It just gets us aligned with our own honest internal mechanisms. So I would encourage you, if you're not taking a lot of measurements from a compliance perspective, to think about Dr. Bateson's research it's got really huge ramifications in business and in life. Have a good think about it. I hope it helps you. I'm Stephen DiPietro. Compliance is not a dirty word. Thanks for tuning in.